okay so i think in my last lecture we were talking about methods of responding to conflicts okay so you know that uh, what is conflict basically conflict is a type of you know situation uh, in which you know you are not agreeing with the interest need or you know perspective of the other person it can happen within a team it can happen within a family it can happen with a boss and a subordinate it can also happen in an organization it can also happen on the road it can also happen in your college so conflict means when you are not ready to accept others point of view and your point of view interfere with the point of view of another person that is called a conflict you are aware of that right so conflict is something you know uh, it is a result of your perception maybe your perception is something else and the other person is having some other feeling he may not look at the whole scenario in from your point of view so that is called the difference that from here you know the conflict arises right so different people will react different to the same conflicting situation some are you know some are able to handle the conflict very easily some they get triggered very fast and they don't know what to do and in an impulsive behavior they may you know spoil the whole situation rather than getting to some conclusion rather than getting uh, reaching to some truth where you know some peace can be restored so there are many you know uh, methods or, or styles of responding to the conflict one is the addressers the second one as you see on the uh, board the second one is the concealer and the third one is the attacker right so who are addressers basically addressers i'll show you addressers you know they are those people um who takes the initiative they are the first strippers or confronters who will never sit silently they want to do something uh, to resolve the conflict they will take initiative they will communicate okay so they are willing to take that initiative even the risk involved they may be successful in resolving the conflict or may not be but they will address the situation they will not run away right whether the opponent will agree with them or the opponents they don't agree okay so addresses are of two type one is the first stepper the second one is the confronter who is first step uh, you know who feels that there has to be some trust that has to be developed between the two parties okay they 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 will offer uh, you know with their uh, gestures with their manners that they want to bring peace to the situation okay they will have sympathy with the other person's point of view also and their you know body language will also be in compliance with that they will try to be very sober so they are the first step or they will take the first response they will take the first step all right now who are the confronters confronters they are those uh, you know they think that things now have gone so bad that uh, now if they confront they are not going to lose anything so they have come to that point now there is nothing that can be done now if we do if we say or do something anything it is not going to be resolved so they don't mind you know uh, going to the extremes you know uh, rather than trying to control the situation they may go to the extreme even start abusing theek hai na so because they 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 feel that they have now the authority because now the situation cannot be changed so Uh, let us now take the onus and start abusing the other person and they feel authoritative they feel that they are in a higher position safe position theek hai now next next important is the concealer concealers are also of three types theek hai concealers are those people uh, you know who will not take any risk and they will not also say anything ठीक है दे विल हाइड देयर थाट्स दे विल हाइड देयर आइडियाज फीलिंग्स सो अकॉर्डिंगली कंसीलर्स हु कंसील देयर 
inner you know innermost uh, uh, feelings they can be of three type they can be either feeling swallowers they can be subject changers or they can be avoiders feeling swallowers are those people who you know jo kadwe ghoont pee lete hai na ki theek hai koi baat nahi apne andar sab kuch le lena but they smile on the situation they smile on the face uh, not showing their distress not showing their pain theek hai they try to hide they feel they swallow their feeling swallow means andar nigal lena kadwe ghoont pee lena and many a times it happens in most of the situation where family members team members they just they can't say they don't feel you know that much uh, uh, motivated or uh, they don't feel so much uh, uh, you know aggressive ki they should confront the situation so they swallow their feeling so they are those people who will not say anything but andar hi andar ghutte rehte hain subject changers are those people um you know they they these people they they will not address the main issue they will change the subject to something else jo jo point the bone of contention jo hai na main issue ka these people will not talk on that they will you know di- digress the subject to something else because you know um uh, and their their intention can be to find some agreement with the conflict conflicting party rather than you know जिस सिचुएशन पे दोनों के प्रॉब्लम्स अटके हुए हैं उसके अलावा कुछ और बात करके सो दैट यू नो दे कैन मेल्ट द आईज सो दे विल सब चेंज द सब्जेक्ट इन टू वेज आइदर दे वॉन्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द मेन इशू और दे वॉन्ट टू डाइग्रेस द पार्टी सो दैट फॉर सम टाइम यू नो दे दे वुड बिकम वॉम विद ईच अदर एंड देन दे कम टू द पॉइंट सो दे आर कॉल्ड सब्जेक्ट चेंजर and now third category is called avoiders the avoiders they would often they go, will you know uh, they will avoid the whole situation they they are escapists they will run away from the situation because they know that nothing can be done here okay they uh, you know the best way to resolve this conflict is to be away from this so why, what does they, that mean be away means they are trying to avoid the whole scenario they will not take part in it, in it. unless the situation become normalized again okay and again even if if it is normalized and if the topic comes up again they will again avoid the because they don't know they don't have any solution with them so they avoid right now third category as i told you is of the attackers so attackers may there can be upfront attackers they are very aggressive okay and very openly they will attack the opponent party right now behind the back are those people those people they are not very aggressive but they are very diplomatic okay and uh, they are like gossip mongers okay now tell me who which type of attackers are more dangerous whether the people who are up front or whether who are behind the back tell me behind the back definitely because you don't know what they what is going on in their mind at least upfront people uh, they are telling you your their story they want some solution and that is why they they are telling their point of view and they want to know your point of view also so they attack each other so it's always uh, considered ki jo log aapke sath muh pe jhagda kar rahe hai na they are better than those people who are smiling at your face but they are having the stab and they are trying to just put that stab behind you so it, you have to be more careful with those people who are very sweet to you all right so this was whole scenario how to respond to different conflicts so what should we do we we should rather be no first steppers and we should also confront we should not swallow our feeling for god's sake never do that because that is not going to help subject changer yes on some points you can change the subject so that you can bring the two parties uh, on some consensus so that they can you know talk to each other and then again you can address but avoider will also not help because or you want to really you know uh, say that i don't want to do anything about the situation so you avoid and just move on move on then okay and attackers may be uh, people who are upfront they can be trusted but behind the people back people you will not know 
but once you get the idea that these these are the people who are talking behind my back you have to be very careful because you are going to be a part of an organization you are going to be part of the real world now abhi tak aap kya tha friendship tha thoda sa back biting hota now you will see when you will go into the real world na you will come to know what are the type of people actually are you know here <laughs> we say na ki the life becomes more easier as we grow old no it becomes more tough because people are having so many masks okay and when you enter the real world of competition and uh, you know naukri mein jana hai there is an organization or a company you don't know who is your real friend it's a dog eating dog world i'm not saying i'm not making you you know scared also by telling you that this is the fact of life but you have to be you have to keep your you know uh, you have to safeguard yourself basically it's all about safeguarding your interest so you have to be very careful let's move on to the next slide now conflict management strategies there are many ways you know we can con- manage the conflict one is by forcing the other one is ma- win win situation then uh, you know we can also have compromising withdrawing or smoothing so these are different ways so as i told you conflict is not always bad sometimes conflict is very important to bring uh, forth some um, you know some opportunities which can improve the situation otherwise conflict ka uh, conflict are important if they are handled carefully because that will uh, remove all the creases between you know what hamare mind mein kai bar bottled up emotions ho jate hain so they will never come out unless the conflict is becoming big and big and we open up our mouth so when we open up our mouth we know what you know where somebody's shoes is biting him kisko kya problem hai wo tab pata chalti hai otherwise bottled up emotions mein people keep on you know swallowing their emotions their feeling they will not tell others so it's important that conflict should arise but it should be handled also very carefully so there has to be management strategies in an organization anywhere in college in your friend circle in your family life in your society wherever there is a conflict there is always a solution you should not be scared ki kuch solution nahi hoga theek hai there is always a solution and if there is no solution then the best way is to move on with mutual agreement that no at least i cannot go on with this person uh, i sh- i think i should part my ways with this person so that is also the last resort okay now forcing let me talk about forcing what is forcing basically uh forcing means uh when you think for yourself more than when you think for others okay you feel that uh you have to really pursue your aims your ambitions and at the cost of other people okay so this may involve pushing your point of view at the expense of other people's uh desires or uh, ambitions or their point of view theek hai so forcing is appropriate in certain situation jahan pe aapko lage ki you know the less forceful methods are not working anymore okay and they are not effective then you will resort to forcing definitely you definitely it's a world where you know as the charles darwin has also said it's the world of the survival of the fittest everybody wants to survive in this world you know as i said it is a dog eating dog world everybody wants to put forth his point of view everybody wants to bloom everybody wants to but uh, you have to draw a line it's like khud jiyo dusron ko bhi jeene do aapka life jab tak dusron ko galat impact nahi kar raha you are not wrong but if it is impacting the other person's survival instinct then it is definitely wrong and you need to stand up for your own right at that time it's important that you stand up even if it is your closest relation even if it is your parent even if it is your brother or sister even if it is your husband even if it is your wife you have to stand up for yourself this foundation course is basically for preparing you for to take how to take your life you know ahead 
when i was in college there was no such course as foundation course because this this is a life teaching skill this tells you how to behave in your uh, uh, you know real life scenario how to move on these are the various methods you know in case you uh, you come across certain situation you should know where to draw line kitna sehna hai uske baad kitne ke baad nahi sehna hai theek hai that's very important okay but at the same time you have to respect others other persons space other persons you know uh, boundaries also never be forceful in that situation theek hai and forcing is also a type of a last resort when nothing else works you know uh, it's a, actually a quick resolution for example in a life threatening situation what will you do you will definitely force na this happens only when other there are no other alternatives left or you can say when there is a hobson's choice hobson's choice means when there is no other alternative left okay now win win situation before we talk about win win situation uh, there are some uh, you know negative uh, points of forcing also you know it can affect the relationship also very badly but as i told you you, you should know where to draw the lines you are now adult everybody you know can think rationally right so you should not harm your opponent in some uh, way emotionally or physically right you cannot you should not take advantage of other people's a point of view also now what is a win win situation win win situation ko hum log collaborating bhi kehte hain theek hai win win situation is also called collaborating that means here aapka concern for yourself is also important but concern for others is also same forcing mein kya tha concern for self becomes more important than the concern for the other person but here both dono ka situation dekhna and it has to come to a win win situation where both the parties they are not loser theek hai so collaboration mein what is important that you try to look into the other people's point of view also and try to make space for that idea all right so it's a mutually beneficial situation for both the parties so hame hamesha jab bhi koi conflict arise hoga na dono parties ka thodi thodi baat maan ke chalna maan lena chahiye aur ye bhi dekhna chahiye ki which are the points that can be agreed upon and which are the things that are beyond uh, ag agreeable notes okay now next is uh, when when do you think win win is important and when uh, you have to go for win win when it is a collaborative movement when you both the parties are able to understand when there is a high level of trust between both the parties theek hai and when long term relationship is very important that time win win situation has to come for example <coughs> so i will not give you that example that example actually concerned with my life but right now i will not give you that anyways uh, let's talk about compromising compromising is when you know uh, when you don't agree uh, when the other party is not agreeing and you are left with no other solution so you will compromise to that party okay that uh, in both the situation uh, you know किसी का कॉम्प्रोमाइज ज्यादा हो सकता है एक पार्टी का एंड किसी का कम हो सकता है बट कॉम्प्रोमाइज में दोनों के दोनों ही कॉम्प्रोमाइज कर रहे हैं दोनों के लिए विन विन सिचुएशन नहीं है दोनों ने ही कुछ ना कुछ लूज भी किया है इट इज बेसिकली बोथ ऑफ देम आर लूज लूज सिचुएशन ठीक है ठीक है नाउ एग्जाम्पल वेन यू वॉन्ट टू रीच फॉर अ टेम्प्ररी सेटलमेंट दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ठीक है वेन यू नो when you don't uh, want to uh, go for like moving on on your own and you really want to give a chance to some you know sometime when there is a conflict between a husband and a wife so they they compromise they compromise on a situation because they know that uh, it's a lifelong relationship and uh, you know 
it would have been better if they could come to a win win situation where both of them are happy but now when win win situation cannot be done it is we land up in a compromising situation where both the parties will compromise on something okay so that is how you you can move on okay next is withdrawing as the name suggest withdrawing means when you go into a shell you are avoiding you don't know what to do because you you uh, you don't want to compromise you don't want to uh, you there is no chance of win win situation and you can't even force you will start withdrawing and withdrawing is a very dangerous situation because here you know um concern for self and also concern for others is very low aap apne bare mein bhi nahi sochte ho aur dusron ke bare mein bhi nahi sochte ho because you have now given up on situation ki this cannot be corrected this is going into a shell type of a situation where aapko life mein se lagega ki kuch nahi ho sakta so here at this point of time you should talk to your friends you should you should start communicating withdrawing you will not give you any solution it can only lead to depression and you know self harm so when a person does not address the conflict when he side steps or postpones that means he is simply withdrawing when he is not talking that is called withdrawing okay so in your circle in your around you when you are in a healthy situation you will say mera kya jata hai why should i talk think think of others but you never know when you will end up in the same situation but if you will help others you will know you will know when you will have that problem how to come out of that problem so it's basically you are helping yourself when you are helping others you are basically uh, you know uh, making yourself future ready for in case just in case khuda na khasta kisi ke sath bhi aisa ho but then you are ready because you have gone through you have helped your friend or family member or somebody with that situation you will be able to brave that situation in a better way so when you help others you basically help yourself now what is smoothing smoothing means it's called accommodating smoothing is called accommodating theek hai accommodating means concern for self is very low but you are only thinking of others so accommodate karte ja rahe ho concern for other is very high right so it's basically people will come first in your list and you will keep yourself in the you will make yourself as a doormat anybody comes uses you and you go this is also a very bad situation okay you should never be into that position because sometime you know uh it may help to you know bring peace but then it is at the cost of your self respect right uh, you give an opportunity to reassess the situation for in case of smoothing but then never uh, be, uh, become so vulnerable that other people other people they will start taking advantage of you smoothing is good but then there is a risk to be abused you will be abused by the other party because they know you have no other way to go you will accommodate anyhow but after certain point you have to put your foot down no way i am enough start talking to yourself that you are enough for yourself you are not going to take anybody's i'm sorry to use that word that is called bullshit you don't take anybody's bullshit stand up for yourself okay that's very important theek hai uh, because the opponent in that case may take keep on taking advantage of you because now you he knows he had assessed you in that so many years that you are a person who will accommodate no matter what you want to you know keep on going so you will accommodate so it is very important to show them the mirror this is it now i am not going to take it any more all right so some of so these are the important points that are you know that you have to keep in your mind during your conflict management in your real life also you will do the same thing theek hai so forcing strategy is a win lose situation forcing strategy is a let me change the color here <coughs> it's a win 
लूज सिचुएशन विन विन इज अ अगेन यू नो दैट विन विन इज अ विन विन सिचुएशन इट्स अ ओके इट्स कॉल्ड कहाँ पे कंपीटिंग ठीक है ना कॉम्प्रोमाइज वेर इज माई पेन वन सेकेंड ओके ना कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग इज में कहीं पे नो यू विल नॉट गेट एनी क्लियर आउट आउटकम ठीक है अवॉइडिंग में वॉट डू यू गेट यू गेट लूज लूज यू आर बोथ ऑफ यू आर लूजिंग इन दैट सिचुएशन स्मूदनिंग में यू वन इज लूजिंग एंड वन इज विनिंग ओके विन विन में यू आर कोलेबरेटिंग बोथ ऑफ यू आर विनिंग राइट सो लेट्स नाउ मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विच इज नीड फॉर पीस एंड हारमनी इन इंडिया ओके आई थिंक इन दिस ऑन दिस चैप टॉपिक वी कैन हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑल ऑफ यू कैन इसके लिए मैंने कुछ ऐसा खास प्रिपेयर नहीं किया आपके लेक्चर के लिए बिकॉज दिस इज सच अ जर्नल इशू सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लेट्स हैव अ क्लास सेशन ऑन दिस ओके लेट्स हैव अ क्लास सेशन वेयर एवरीबडी कैन पुट फॉर देयर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके I would love to, you know, today is the last class. I would love to see your response. Let us have a general conversation, right? Come on. Why do you think? Now, my question is, why do you think we need peace and harmony in India? What is the current scenario? What we can do to bring it to normalcy? who would like to participate let's have a discussion now come on i'll start calling names ha huh? one by one only 16 students are there so let me say let me see what can contribute in this अरे बाबा कुछ तो बोलो अजीत 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 सिंह बामरा यस बेटा कुछ तो बोलो need for peace and harmony in india anything that ha bolo bacha peace aur harmony se to sabhi ko rehna chahiye hm pehle se sab jagah news mein hatred kaafi fail gaya hai hm ye matlab matlab aise biased ho ke ek side ki news hi dikhate hain har har side ki dikhani chahiye आज अभी आजकल सोशल कोई भी सोशल मीडिया नहीं है ना है। या तो वो गोदी मीडिया या एंटी गोदी मीडिया हाँ वही सही बात है है ना राइट हाँ हाँ या फिर वो उसको पूरा बुरा बोल देंगे या फिर पूरा अच्छा बोल देंगे या दोनों तरफ की ही दोनों साइड दिखाओ दोनों टाइप हाँ। मैं मैं बता रही हूँ एक तो वो है जैसे जी न्यूज और ये रिपब्लिक भारत है टोटली फॉर मोदी एंड अगर एन डी टीवी को देखो तो लगता है जैसे इंडिया मोदी तो मोदी की जैसे तो गंदा इंसान ही कोई नहीं है सो so, ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए ना उसके अंदर अच्छी क्वालिटीज भी हैं उसके अंदर बुरी क्वालिटीज भी है इट शुड बी फेयर गेम कि अगर आप जर्नलिज्म में हो तो यू हैव टू बी वेरी फेयर कि जब उसने अच्छा काम किया तो अच्छा बोलो जब उसने गलत काम किया तो गलत बोलो एन डी टी वी तो टोटली उसके दे आर ऑन दी एक्सट्रीम एन डी टी वी इस साइड है और रिपब्लिक इस साइड पर है दोनों के दोनों वेर एज देर बोथ ऑफ देम शुड हैव अ बैलेंस कि जहाँ पे गलत है गलत बोलो जहाँ पे सही है सही बोलो यस वेरी गुड नाउ अवनी वेर इज अवनी शी वॉज हियर जस्ट नाउ आई थॉट नेक्स्ट आई विल गिव हर दिस एनी वेज हर्ष से समथिंग ऑन पीस एंड हारमनी वॉट इज योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वट वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट टू से हर्ष हर्ष कुमार 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, beta. What do you want to say? What points you want to add in the need for peace and harmony in India? क्या करना चाहिए अगर इन केस यू फील माई क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट इन केस यू फील दैट आपके सोसाइटी में कुछ पीस एंड हार्मोनी का इशू हो रहा है रिलेटेड टू सम रिलीजन तो आप क्या करोगे योर माइक इज एक्ंग आई एम नॉट एबल टू योर माइक इज एक्ंग आप भी बोलो मैम सबको इक्वल ट्रीट करेंगे रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस को मना करेंगे यस वेरी गुड जो हमने अभी फाउंडेशन कोर्स में फुल पढ़ा ना वी हैव टू अप्लाई एवरीथिंग ओवर देयर ठीक है कोई कॉन्फ्लिक्ट अगर किसी दो के बीच में आ रहा है तो विल ट्राई टू डिस्पर्स द क्राउड की उनको बढ़ाना नहीं है वी बेसिकली वॉन्ट देम टू गो अवे एंड जब थोड़े से लोग रह जाते हैं उनके बीच में डिस्प्यूट है इट्स ईजियर टू क्लियर दैट डिस्प्यूट नहीं तो क्या होगा एवरीबडी विल स्टार्ट क्योंकि एवरीबडी विल हैव द फीलिंग टूवर्ड्स दैट ना कि मेरा रिलीजन मेरा रिलीजन सो बेसिकली वी वॉन्ट एवरीबडी टू डिस्पर्स सो पहली बात तो विल नेवर अलाउ एनी बडी टू टॉक इन दिस टर्म जब पब्लिक मीटिंग और ये सब होते हैं ना सो वी विल अवॉइड विल नॉट टॉक अब एनी थिंग अबाउट विच विल क्रिएट एनी ट्रबल Uh, be away from those topics. Whenever you are in your friend circle, जहाँ पर आपका politics discuss कर रहे हो जब तक आपका consensus बन रहा है you can go against the against the other person. But once you feel that it is going out of control, leave the topic. Because you cannot change everybody's opinion according to your opinion. Everybody has the right to have their opinion. ठीक है That means you will give other person also that freedom to have their point of view. Similarly, you have made your point of view looking at so many things. That person has made his point of view looking at the things from other perspective. It is not that he is right or it is not that you are right. It is basically that what exposure has been given to both of you, what media you are following, whether following anti modi or pro modi media whether you have been able to use your judgment dono hi channels mein mereko dekhne ke baad mujhe pata chalta hai ki both of them are extremist which is not good for the society to aap bhi apne views ko dono tarike se samjho jiska acha hai usko acche kehne mein kabhi jhijakna nahi और जब कोई बुरा है तो उसको बुरा कहने में कोई झिझकना नहीं बट अगर दूसरा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आपका नहीं समझ रहा है देन व्हाट विल यू डू सिप योर माउथ नो नीड नो नीड टू गेट इन टू आर्ग्यूमेंट स्पेशली यू विल बी गोइंग एंड गेटिंग इन इन टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉरपोरेट वर्ल्ड यू विल बी गेटिंग इन टू लेक्चर्स यू मे ज्वाइन कॉलेज यू मे ज्वाइन सम अदर इंस्टीट्यूट वॉट्स वेन एवर डिस्कशन इज देयर वेन एवर डिस्कशन इज देयर जस्ट टेक पार्ट इन द डिस्कशन बट देन लीव इट देयर ओनली ओके यू कैन पुट फॉरवर्ड योर पॉइंट जो आप वॉट एवर यू थिंक बट देन आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम डोंट कैरी इट फॉरवर्ड कि वो आपका ग्रजेस बढ़ता जाए ठीक है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट इन पीस एंड हारमोनी इज जो हमारा मीडिया है ना दैट प्लेज अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव रोल ठीक है सो हमारी एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स हमारे प्रोग्राम्स हमको वही एडवोकेट करने हैं सबको जो कि पीस एंड हार्मोनी कर जनरेट करता है नॉट द डिवाइडिंग वन आजकल ट्विटर्स पे देखोगे ना आपका मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टफ दे आर सो एक्सट्रीम एक पूरा उस पर चला जाता है हिंदुज़म पर चला जाता है एक टोटली totally दूसरे वे पे चला जाता है जो एक्चुअल मुद्दे हैं वो उसके ऊपर तो कोई बात ही नहीं करता कभी किसी हिजाब के ऊपर हम लोगों का कंट्रोवर्सी हम लोगों की डिबेट्स उस पर थ्रेड्स के ऊपर थ्रेड्स आते हैं 
हाँ हिजाब के ऊपर और कभी आ जाते हैं उसके ऊपर मंदिर के ऊपर कभी आ, जो मेन मुद्दे हैं ना उनके ऊपर बात करना सीखना है वी हैव टू टॉक ऑन दैट डेवलपमेंट इकोनॉमी हाँ किसान आंदोलन दीज आर मेन मुद्दा लेट्स किसान आंदोलन आया और गया कुछ फायदा किसी का भी नहीं हुआ एंड टू बी वेरी फ्रेंक मैं बताऊँ सच्ची बताऊँ किसान आंदोलन जो इन्होंने किया था आई वॉज अगेंस्ट दैट बिकॉज जो रिफॉर्म बिल्स थे ना दैट वॉज वर्क ऑफ अ टू और थ्री पार्टीज कांग्रेस के टाइम से वो रिफॉर्म्स का उन्होंने लिस्ट बनाया था और दे वर नॉट एबल टू फोर्स यू नो पुट इट इन टू फोर्स बिकॉज दे नेवर हैड द फुल मेजोरिटी कांग्रेस की गवर्नमेंट दोनों टाइम आई दे वर नॉट हैविंग फुल मेजोरिटी 2004 से लेकर 2009, 2009 से लेकर 2013, दे कुड नॉट यू पुट इट इन टू एक्शन बिकॉज दूसरे पार्टीज उनके अगेंस्ट चले जा रहे थे वेन एवर दे वर पुटिंग दैट कांग्रेस ये किसान का यू नो किसान बिल्स वॉट हैपन वेन मोदी पुट द सेम थिंग तो उसका सब कर दिया टू बी वेरी फ्रेंक वो जो बिल्स थे ना इफ यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड और लोगों ने बहका कैसे दिया इस केस में ना थोड़ी गलती मोदी गवर्नमेंट की ये हो गई कि उन्होंने एड्रेस ही नहीं किया यहाँ पे उनका उनका एरोगेंस था बहुत ज़्यादा एंड दैट दे शुड नॉट हैव दे शुड नैव डन दैट वेन दे देर आर पीपल हु आर सिटिंग ऑन द रोड वॉट इज़ द जॉब ऑफ अ गवर्नमेंट एड्रेस दैन दे आर द पीपल ऑफ योर कंट्री इतना इतना घमंड अच्छी बात नहीं है आपके आपका बहुत अच्छा था किसान बिल बट अगर आपने उसको एड्रेस अच्छे से नहीं किया कुछ फायदा नहीं हुआ सो दैट इज मैंने तो जब किसान बिल पढ़ रही थी ना और मैंने कौन से दो तीन वो एक है सतीश गुप्ता है आई डोंट नो सुधीर गुप्ता आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज हिज नेम बट आई वाज गोइंग थ्रू हिज चैनल एंड ही आल्सो एक्सप्लेन ही इज दो टोटली एंटी मोदी he is a person who is totally anti modi but he said this kisan bills if they come into force in india it is going to change the whole scenario but logo ne kya kiya nahi ye to modi aur modi jo hai na wo adani aur ambani ka hi bas pet bharne ke liye laga hua hai so yahan pe jo hai na dusre media ne bahut galat kaam kiya whereas they should have actually told the benefits of that wo to abhi gaya abhi to chalo gaya but let us see what happens next theek hai so in that way इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट वी शुड डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक्स मैंने जैसे बोला इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दोनों तरह से सुनो बट एट द सेम टाइम इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट यू नेवर गेट इन टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑन पॉलिटिक्स इन योर लाइफ आपके फैमिली मेम्बर्स में ही आपके पांच डिफरेंट ओपिनियंस होंगे आपके फादर मे हैव अ डिफरेंट ओपिनियन इन योर फैमिली रिगार्डिंग पॉलिटिक्स योर मदर मे हैव डिफरेंट यू मे हैव डिफरेंट तो क्या करते हैं हम लोग झगड़ा करके एक दूसरे को मार काट करते हैं नहीं so that is what we don't have to do it outside also jab nahi point hum logon ka sehmati banti hai to what do we do leave that topic right so that's all for today okay um uh, i'm going to take only one lecture and i have given you the pdf that's how i wind up my today's lecture all right i wish i would have seen you <laughs> personally and met you all but sadly the full year went by and could not see anybody face to face hmm? all of you have wonderful year and all the best for your exams all right i am ma'am uh, are you taking revision revision uh, <laughs> look uh, one second so today is uh, today is uh, 5th of april ha huh? one second so next class will be uh, your exams are starting on 9th of april right ma'am hmm? starting no ma'am when it is, is not yet confirmed announced? it is not confirmed no ma'am okay so then i will take revision no problem i'll take revision but as per my knowledge it is one second ha huh. as per my knowledge i have got the note that i have to wind up my classes on or before 9th of april so another class will not be able to take before you know next class will be on 13th ha huh, na 
Tuesday. Next Tuesday is what day? <laughs> I won't be able to take any class. इसके बाद तो क्या करूँ Do you do you guys have some other you know free time where I I can take up revision? Let me just check my calendar. The next class is going to be on twelfth. Huh? Twelfth को exam नहीं है तो फिर I will take revision class on twelfth. ठीक है? हम्म? Okay ma'am. हम्म? All the best and take care and uh, go through the PDF I have already given you. ठीक है? Start preparing for subjective exam this time, right? It is not going to be MCQs. You are aware, no? Hmm? Are you aware that you are going to have subjective exam this time? No, ma'am. They have not given us the timetable. But it is going to not going to be MCQs. You have to write the exam. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, hmm? ma uh, and also similar, ma'am said that it can be both, like. Uh, Like some part in MCQ and some part in subjective. Okay, okay, ठीक है. And uh, all of you have sent, uh, you know, uploaded the project or not internals के लिए? Because I have to in within two days I have to submit the marks. Have you all uploaded? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because मैंने check तो कर लिया मुझे नाम नहीं आ रहा है so I just want to know whether आप सब ने किया है कि नहीं किया. No, ma'am, no, no. What happened? I would upload it today. I oh. will upload it. Okay, okay. मैंने कर दिया है सबका जिसका चेक है, but मुझे हर किसी का नाम नहीं मालूम है ना, तो फिर I am just making sure कि आप लोगों ने सब ने कर दिया कि नहीं, ठीक है? Anyways, चलो, all of you, bye bye, enjoy. Bye ma'am. Thank you. Bye ma'am. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you ma'am.